We've probably all seen these in our garden, but they may be just a little bit more interesting than you might think. They're out there, they're hiding, they're watching you. Queensland Backyard Bugs and Birds. It's tough getting around on one foot, but this limitation doesn't appear to hold back snails. Land snails move by gliding along on their muscular foot, which is lubricated with mucus. This motion's powered by succeeding waves of muscular contractions that move down the ventral of its foot. Snails secrete mucus externally to keep their bodies from drying out. They also secrete mucus from the foot to aid locomotion by reducing friction and to help reduce the risk of injury from sharp objects meaning that they can crawl over a sharp edge like a straight razor and not be injured. The mucus that land snails secrete with the foot leaves a slime trail behind them, which is often visible for some hours afterwards, and it's a shiny path on the surface that they crawl on. Australia's common garden snails are only about three to four centimetres in size. Most land snails bear one or two pairs of tentacles on their heads. In most of them, the eyes are carried on the upper set of tentacles or eye stalks, and the lower set of tentacles act as their nose, or their olfactory, to sense things. Both sets of tentacles are retractable in land snails. The snail breaks up its food using the radula inside its mouth. The radula is a ribbon-like structure containing rows of microscopic teeth. It uses this to scrape at food, which is then transferred to the digestive tract. In a very quiet setting, a large land snail can be heard crunching its food. And the radula is tearing away at the surface of the food that the snail's eating. Snails have a form of primitive brain which is divided into four sections. This structure is very much simpler than the brain of mammals, reptiles and birds, but nevertheless, snails are capable of associative learning. As a snail grows, so does its calcium carbonate shell. The shell grows by the addition of new calcium carbonate, which is secreted by glands located in the snail's mantle. The new material is added to the edge of the shell aperture, or the opening of the shell. Therefore, the centre of the shell spiral was made when the snail was younger, and the outer part where the snail was older. When the snail reaches full adult size, it may build up a thickened lip around the shell aperture. At this point, the snail stops growing and begins reproducing. Snails can go into hibernation by sealing their shell entrance with mucus and that dries to become a membrane. They can hibernate for more than a year. Researchers discovered nearly 30 years ago that snail mucus has some unusual properties. It allows the animal to stick to a surface while moving with the mucus changing its characteristics according to how firmly the snail presses on it. The slime initially acts like glue, sticking the snail to the surface, but when the snail's foot presses hard enough on the mucus, it becomes more liquid, allowing it to flow underneath the moving snail. Existing theories assumed that this special characteristic of snail mucus was always necessary for the snail to push off and move forward. Thank you for watching my video. If you found it interesting and would like to see more, have a look at my YouTube channel, Queensland Backyard Bugs and Birds.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.